guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, going to show you just a few basic tips for your vibrato. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, also I put uh, like a discounted bundle together of 20 hours of brand new Marty Music lead guitar lessons, and I have a link down there in the first comment, and I'm going to pick um, four comments to win that for free. So. Uh, Let's learn something. All right, I got some vibrato tips. Now, the guitar being on, resting on your leg, as opposed to standing up with a strap, may affect this a little bit, but the concept of vibrato is the same across the board. However, different guitar players and artists, you know, treat their vi vibrato in a personal way. For instance, B.B. King is shaking his hand really quick back and forth. Now, I, don't, I can't do it that way, so that's not what we're gonna work on. Uh, I'm going to show you the more common way to use vibrato, but man, B.B. King, you know, he was very special at it. So, vibrato is just like a singer or any other instrument. It's actually going up and back in pitch. And when you do it fast enough uh, within the rhythm and context of the music, it adds a very vocal... Here it is without, here it is with. And so you got to figure out a way to speed that up and make it musical. You can do it off of a bend as well. You can do it on the on the high note, but the concept's always the same. It's 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 rocking up and pitch and back, up and pitch and back. So it's not uh, pressing down. It's literally rocking up and back. So now let me talk about some tips that I've you know had work with uh, students that I have taught privately. What I think a great way to start with is to bend, I mean, I'm sorry, not bend, but to shake the neck of the guitar. And what I'm doing when I'm doing the vibrato is, I can't do a vibrato with the guitar being totally still and just shaking my hand. You can see even there, the guitar is rocking up and down. And so the guitar's rocking up and down, and then my finger is kind of a fulcrum lever. I'm using fancy engineering here, but it's I'm kind of balanced. I'm, I'm holding the neck, but I'm balancing the weight of the guitar off of the note that I'm using the vibrato on. So if this is up, then that's down like that. So a good tip is to just shake, you know, you're holding the note and then shake that neck. And nothing beats repetition. You got to do it over and over and you keep, you'll keep getting better at it. So now I'm going to do some vibrato with some uh, overdrive. And let's do uh, just a couple in slow motion so you can see the technique going on. But really, ultimately, you're going to want to get a nice strong note going and start trying to shake the neck up and down a bit and feel the leverage off of the finger of the note. Here we go.
So just shake that neck, feel the weight of it off of your finger that you're playing the note from, and repeat, and use some jam tracks, maybe use a looper, and keep working at it. All right, you guys, thanks again for hanging out. I uh, hope that was helpful, maybe a little insight. Remember, I'm going to pick four comments to win uh, my discounted lead guitar face melter bundle First comment, you can check it out. Thanks again, and we'll see you later. Keep making something.